That is the great Noah Berlin walking down to our guy, an honorary D backs contract that is uh, set sent directly from the booth. Gonzo and I going to uh, hook our man up here. Now, what the contract gets you is Jed Jerko leads off the Padre sixth against Randall Delgado. An honorary D backs contract, should you be so awarded, gets you four free tickets in the dugout box seating area to any regular season Diamondback home game. So we're going to hook them up with four seats. It also gets you 30% off any team shop purchase. So you can go in there, buy a bunch of stuff, and get 30% off, plus the four free tickets. There's Kate and Noah trying to find our guy. Too bad with that 30% off, we don't sell glasses down there. <laughs> one and one to Jerko, swing and a miss. Might hook him up with a pair of D-backs glasses. Gonna need him. <laughs> Hopefully he'll be able to see that contract. I don't know. I think the, the, the Hanson brothers glasses look pretty cool. We also got to get him a glove <laughs> and a mask. <laughs> two and two on Jericho is over two. Hey man, he hung in there. He didn't go anywhere. He stayed right there. Now, if you're just joining us, this was our guy trying to make a catch on a foul ball. Now, watch this. Hands up right in front of the face, and he gets it. Oh, square between the eyes. There goes the glasses, everything. How about his buddy throwing his hands up? What? You didn't catch it? But he did a nice job, a really nice job, of patching himself up, put a band aid on there, fixed the glasses, and he's hanging in. Three and two now on Jerko. And there's Noah and Kate. <laughs> he's a little bit banged up, but he's uh, smiling. And there's the walk to Jerko. Let's go down to Kate and Chris, our guy. Well, Chris, just take me through. It's not your typical night at the ballpark. What happened? Um, well, watching the game. Uh, Spangenberg hit a foul ball right at my face. <laughs> and I tried to catch it, misjudged the strength in my hands, and uh, just kind of slipped right through. Now, for some people, that might have ruined their night. You, you're embracing it. Oh, yeah, of course. Not every day you get hit in the face by a foul ball at a <laughs> Major League Baseball game, so. And I understand after this happened, Derek Hall was wanted to come over here and make sure you're okay. Yeah. He stopped me on my way here. He said, you were bleeding. You had a ball near you. And he's like, are you okay? Are you okay? And the only thing you said is, can I get a picture with oh, you? Yeah, of course. I've already picked. I'm getting it framed. I have the ball. The ball will be next to the frame. The contract is now going in the frame. I'm going to be, I'll be set. So you might say the game was made better for you with this hit in the face than it would have been if it was just a normal game out at the ball. Park. Oh, yeah, of course. I had to flag down a 50-50 person because I figured it's my lucky day. I got to make sure I buy a ticket. And that's what we call the, the glasses half full. You're exactly. one of those guys. Now, will you be keeping these glasses? Will you still be sporting them? Or are they going to go on display as well? Well, they'll probably go on display once I retire them. I got to try and fix them until I can get new ones. But yeah, they'll be go they'll go in the case as well. Right. Well, you have a contract now, thanks to, you know to the guys in the broadcast booth. But now maybe we can just plea if there's anyone out there who's watching and can hook him up with some new glasses. Chris needs to retire these ones, obviously. <laughs> And uh, guys, I mean, a gamer here or what? I, I think he keeps the glasses. They can be his trademark, his signature they want, they want you to wear them. That's your trademark, they say. What he, re what he really needs is a glove. I think I, yeah, he I, needs I, a glove. I will ask him that, guys. Where's the glove? Well, actually, I didn't think I was going to be sitting down here. My glove is actually in the back seat of my car right now. Great. Perfect I place didn't think for I was going to be sitting this close tonight. <laughs> That's so. a perfect so place for a the, glove at a ball You're game. the guy we call the day after an emergency, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. I think it'd be great if he just gets the glasses, the ball, and he runs a loop of the play up in his house. You know, just put a big box with a TV around it. Well, you know, we've run it enough. Uh, it's... <laughs> Oh, it'll definitely be on the internet somewhere. I think he's shown a great deal of intestinal fortitude. Whatever that is. Melvin Upton Jr. has walked and struck out. Well, we're just glad he's okay in all seriousness. He tried to make a play. It's 
as we just learned, not always the smartest move at the ballpark. He just flat out said he whiffed on it. They got him a glove. There he you go. Glove. There we are. Uh, oh, yeah. He just, you know, people see this happening. This is called goodwill. The glove is here. Now, glasses. Glasses, anyone? He needs new glasses. I tell you what, this is going to be oh, trending on Twitter. Shelton it's going to be, he's going to become an internet sensation. Chris, the D-backs fan. There's the picture oh, with Derek. Derek. Is it Derek trending yet, yeah, guys? Chris, the D-backs fan, they're saying it should be trending on Twitter right now. Right now, D-backs fans make things happen, so you watch. We'll check in in another inning. I bet it will be trending. Also trending, another Melvin Upton Jr. strikeout. And it's three for Randall. He's going to take a shot now with the 50-50. Hey, it's your night, Chris. 